Hey guys, uh, my name is Jordan Cranda. Thanks so much for watching. Today I want to talk to you guys about prayer. Um, there's many avenues to take, many topics to discuss prayer, but I want to focus primarily on our motivation, like our disposition towards prayer. Why do we pray? Um, and I want to first and foremost start off saying that Jesus is not your genie, He is your Lord. You know, it's completely fine and we're actually even encouraged to ask God for blessings to occur in our lives, but we need to understand that the greatest blessing has already occurred, namely Jesus on the cross some 2,000 years ago. You know, God wants to bless our lives through prayer, but we need to understand that our greatest blessing is not in our gifts, but rather in our God. We get this idea from the Bible as well. James chapter 1, verse 17 says that every good and perfect gift comes from above. The Bible talks about God wanting to give you these gifts, but we need to understand that the reason why every good and perfect gift comes from above is because the greatest, most perfect gift has already come from above in the person of Jesus. Jesus was in heaven. He came down to earth, died for our sins so that you and I could have communion with God in heaven. This is the profound truth. And it, the funny thing is, when Jesus did that, we didn't even ask for him to die for our sins. You know, I, I never asked Jesus, hey, die for my sins. He did it because he knows my needs. He knows my needs more than I know my own needs. So when you pray, you don't need to have this conclusive account of everything because that's not how it works. You don't know all your needs. God knows all your needs and he wants to give you all that. But the fact is you need to understand that you don't just ask Jesus for things, you thank Jesus for things. Don't have your prayer list be like your Christmas list. You know, you look at your Christmas list and it is just a list of requests. While your prayer list has requests, it should also have praises to God, thanking Him for what He's done for you. You know, Santa can only bring you a mere present, but God can give you His presence in your life. What's better? I mean, it's clear that the presence of God is way better than the presence of Saint Nick, you know? So the fact is, Saint Nick only comes once a year. God comes constantly throughout the year. He doesn't leave you. Santa Claus has some cop out to go to the North Pole to take a break, but God never take a break on you. He wants to be in your life constantly. You know, so we got to understand that we don't just ask Jesus for things. We also have to thank Him for things that He's done in our lives. We need to remember two very important aspects of prayer. First off, the power of prayer. Second off, the source of prayer. We readily accept the power of prayer. We believe that God can do great things, yet we often forget that it is about God, that the source of prayer is God, that we need to have this great approach with God through prayer. And if you think about it, prayer is a very profound truth and also a profound reality that the God of the universe wants to communicate with you and I that the God of Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses, all of them is also the God of you and I. But we need to understand that we need to approach God through prayer in the right way. This is a very holy thing and a very sacred and honor, and we need to use it in the right way. And this brings up the idea of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, that I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. It encompasses the power of prayer and the source of prayer, and we need to have that throughout our lives. That we can do great things and ask for great things, but understand that it's all about God and He's the source and He's already done the greatest thing. He's already, He's the greatest gift of all. The greatest gift is not in some presence from Santa, but merely in the presence of God. And our main prayer in our lives ought to be not more of gifts, but more of God. We need to ask God to fill us with His presence more and more each and every day. And that's what I mainly want to talk about today and that's what I talked about. And I just want to end off saying thanks guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. My name is Jordan Crando on Twitter. That's also my username. Follow me and we can have a conversation. Uh, anything that's going on in your lives, I'd love to talk to you guys about. And also subscribe to the YouTube. God, guys, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. And uh, have a great day and God bless.